Hello everyone, my name is Morad Montazami. Uh, I'm an independent research curator and I'm also the director of uh, Zamon Books and Curating, which is a publishing and curatorial platform, as it reads. Um, I was very happy and very proud to be invited by the Lenbach House Munich Museum in order to contribute to uh, a beautiful symposium over um, post-colonial and non-Western territories, art schools and avant-gardes um, related to the Casablanca Art School as far as I'm concerned and invited. So I would like to very much uh, thank um, all the team at the Lenbach House uh, and also all the colleagues that were initially planned to gather for this uh, physical event um, of symposium in Munich and, and then rescheduled as uh, a digital event, which I'm also very happy to be part of. So uh, I'm going to explain in, and speak about some of the Casablanca Art School uh, historiographic aspects and, I guess, um, iconographic legacy, uh, but also in its uh, rawest shape, in a way, given that um, I'm part of a group of people who currently, under the shelter of Zaman Books, uh, work on a very ambitious and very um, uh, long researched uh, book, uh, reference book and history book uh, and very much archival book about the, the group or the era or you could even say the golden age in a way of post-colonial arts uh, in Morocco that we eventually came to, to call the Casablanca Art School or the Casablanca Art School Group. Um, this is a very intense and very uh, diversified field of knowledge and actors and uh, type of fieldwork uh, in a way when engaging in such a research uh, over so many actors that uh, eventually ex and very much from the core group that we consider as uh, the Casablanca Art School, even though I may focus on this core group for, for today's discussion. Um, the core group of people involved uh, from the beginning of the 60s, mid-1960s in this group were the three artists, uh, Farid Belkahia, Mohamed Melehi, Mohamed Sheba and as researchers or writers and also art teachers alongside their uh, plastic artist peers were Tony Maraini, uh, Italian um, anthropologist and art historian, and Bert Flint, a Dutch uh, anthropologist um, who um, quite similarly to Tony Maraini um, arrived in Morocco since the 50s, beginning 60s, and, and in a way uh, immersed and fully embodied and lived through uh, Moroccan post-colonial culture and, and, and were fully part of it, even as uh, non-Moroccan um, uh, partners. One of the, the, the highlights um, or um, platform thinking of this exhibition entitled New Waves, Mohamed Melehi and the Casablanca Art School Archives um, was the graphic design uh, display for Mohamed Melehi's uh, best contributions as a graphic designer, but also obviously in connection to the Casablanca Art School. On a été séduit aussi par ce projet, en particulier parce que c'est une forme de rétrospective, c'est également l'histoire d'une génération, d'une phase particulière aussi de l'histoire de l'art au Maroc. C'est vraiment une exposition pour voir Melehi comme on ne l'avait jamais vu, ou plus exactement pour retracer un parcours qui parfois pourrait être dans l'ombre des œuvres. Parce que les œuvres restent et souvent les documents ou les pièces à conviction de ce parcours foisonnant peuvent passer à la trappe. 
even though the Casablanca Art School, per se, uh, we're speaking of a time as a parenthesis or a school history within the broader uh, institution that we call the Casablanca Art School, which is the time that went under radical artistic and pedagogic transformations led by Farid Belkahia, Mohamed Sheba, Mohamed Melehi. The artists that we're speaking about arrive at a precise time where their experience gained in foreign countries um, like France, but uh, for Mohamed Melehi, which maybe I will focus a bit more on, um, you could speak of Italy, Rome, um, the United States, uh, through New York and Minneapolis, um, and also through the Arab world in order to make connections um, with different artist groups and different uh, visual activists um, from Egypt to Lebanon and, and, and to Palestine um, that become eventually bigger platforms to which the Casablanca Art School artists also contribute and also um, shape a voice and shape a uh, this transnational vocabulary, uh, mainly through their artwork, but probably as much uh, through these platforms. The, the actors from the group and uh, these platforms and, and patterns uh, to be discussed uh, also paved the way for a Mediterranean and a transnational avant-garde, uh, taking both root in the margins of Western capitals and the emerging Afro-Arab art history. But the graphic design wall map uh, devoted to uh, going through different stages of Melehi's uh, skills and uh, um, capacity as a poster maker, as a book covers design, um, different kind of exhibition brochures, uh, some of them uh, involving very innovative uh, layouts and, and design. Uh, some of them would be very grassroots from his very first solo exhibitions in 1965 uh, back in Morocco and Marrakesh uh, from the United States and Italy where he gained incredible experience of working through different media but for Morocco was still at a time of very uh, emerging practices uh, for which Mohamed Melehi was definitely one of the uh, main uh, conveyor um, so some of the posters are actually looking quite raw and quite um, makeshift uh, and that's very interesting uh, with the stencil techniques or other kind and then gets more refined of course through the, the course of time until when they Melehi and Sheba uh, design posters and exhibition leaflets uh, not only for uh, uh, their own uh, kind of group and manifesto exhibitions, which I will come back to, but also to different authors, poets. We're talking about the most important Moroccan intellectuals of the time, and not only Moroccan, but people like Abdelatif Labi, who actually founded the Souffle uh, journal um, in 1966, where Mohamed Sheba and Mohamed Melehi were the main graphic designer and visual activist uh, in this journal Souffle that continued up until 1973, actually a little after Mohamed Sheba uh, as a very committed uh, Marxist uh, mind um, was sent to jail in 1972. As the wall map shows you uh, through different cities, uh, we're talking about of course Casablanca uh, and Rabat, as far as Morocco is concerned for, you know, the activities uh, going on at the school, but also in echo to a groundbreaking gallery like L'Atelier, 
run by Pauline de Mazière in Rabat uh, from 1971 to 1991, and where the Casablanca Art School artist will also have great contribution and, and exhibition history. Throughout other uh, Arab and um, uh, you know, third worldist centers uh, such as Beirut, uh, where a lot of Palestinian um, exhibitions and artist groupings happen. Um, is when Mohammed Melehi uh, traveling to Mexico uh, to represent Morocco in an international sculpture symposium at the same time of the, the, the 1968 Olympics in Mexico, um, where a group of more than 20 artists uh, from the, mostly from non-Western, but also coming from the uh, European centers, such as Herbert Bayer from uh, the Bauhaus uh, legacy, uh, gather in 68 in Mexico, <clears throat> where Melehi uh, creates a massive monumental wave uh, sculpture along the the, the road uh, in Mexico as a as a symbol of a road between Latin America and uh, African Arab um, countries, uh, which is actually a tribute to to the African continent uh, in its uh, sculptural theme and and title uh, by a Moroccan but very cosmopolitan uh, artist uh, from Mexico in 1968 and anticipate uh, another uh, great meeting between Mohamed Melehi, Tony Mahaini and Herbert Bayer uh, three years later uh, in Tangiers. Make a school of thought out of a collective experience was pretty much uh, intense historically for the Bauhaus, also through history of displacement, of course, between Europe and the United States through exile, war related uh, displacement and um, individual uh, uh, destinies uh, intercrossing, um, which is very important in order to build up uh, um, a more diversified, more complex and more ramified, even through micro histories and micro encounters that uh, hopefully we can uh, help to, to assemble together. We can have a look at different type of interventions and different types of ways of looking at the exhibition space on the one hand, a not existing exhibition space which had to be makeshift or thought from scratch, which was from the city, from the streets, from the urban space, that possibility for um, to cope with the absence of a national modern art museum or a proper uh, art infrastructure uh, beyond the colonial and the French protectorate art managing and fine art schools model. Um, Mohamed Melehi, for his 1965 exhibition at Babruha Gallery in Rabat, which is his first solo show after his return from the US to Morocco, shows a very diverse uh, audience and is pretty relevant in the photographs that uh, could be saved from these days, where you actually get to see the importance of the youth and children within the audience, showing that the Casablanca Art School artist and Melehi uh, insisted very much uh, to create that relation with the, with the streets and the, um, the traditional palaces or the buildings, halls or uh, theater and cinema lobbies where the artists uh, of the emerging avant-garde would show their work instead of having uh, proper galleries or institutional uh, art spaces at that time. Malehi was integrally 
thinking his paintings from that period in terms of combined panels structured within architectural purposes or ways of integration for these panels uh, all throughout his uh, murals and outdoor projects such as the 1971 fresco in the suburb of Paris um, for a shopping mall parking, uh, one of the probably one of the the, the biggest uh, urban intervention of Mohammed Melehi at this point. But we can see in the general street photography uh, undertaken by Melehi at that same time, which is the 60s. Here you can see uh, Melehi's photograph from that time. The patterns that you see in the buildings, windows, the traditional. Muslim architecture juxtaposed to colonial modernist mass housing or workshops um, that were structuring the, the city center and the Medina. Uh, all of these can be somehow retraced in the orientations and the basic patterns even combined and juxtaposed to each other, but there is very a clear relationship. I would say, between the abstracted urban landscape uh, brought into this new composition of the abstract avant-garde, uh, overcoming the figurative and naive local painting encouraged by the colonial exhibitions of that time, how the Casablanca art school artists integrated their works into architectural places, such as the hotels um, in Marrakech of Les Almoravides, built by um, Patrice de Mazière for the Farawi and de Mazière architectural studio, where Melehi brought his uh, mastery of mural painting, but for the ceiling, this time here, uh, remindful of one of his first intervention at the Minneapolis Art Institute cafeteria, where he literally organized for an environmental um, pic pictorial and murals, um, colorful compositions uh, all around the cafeteria space. And this is the brochure from the 1965 Babruha exhibition again, where on the front cover, Melehi confronts his own body. He's basically installing his exhibition and making a photographic, a visual statement of not so much for art when he's steady and still, but for the artwork when it's actually in displacement, uh, in the process of being installed and in his own language integrated to the art space. Mohamed Melehi's and the Casablanca Art School ability not only to create art but also to think of the display for art, the documentation for art. As you can see here, these children are looking at a photograph precisely put next to a painting. And it took me a while in order to find the right uh, reference photograph. Um, of, for, for this precise moment shown in this um, in this exhibition venue, and uh, it happens that eventually uh, it's a photograph from Mohamed Melehi's MoMA exhibition, where he had included a painting entitled IBM uh, back in 1963-64. Uh, um, at the Museum of Modern Art, New York City, for a geometric painting and hard edge abstraction collective where Mohamed Mulehi was included. And he took the same painting entitled IBM in his later, one year later, uh, first solo show in Morocco after his return from the US and from exhibiting at the MoMA, but actually uh, resorting to uh, return to the roots, return to the Moroccan streets uh, where a whole new adventure and pedagogic thinking and philosophical thinking of the relation between art makers 
and and social audience is is going to to have its rebirth uh, from Casablanca and Marrakesh, uh, since as Malehi would put it back at that time. Um, Marrakesh was the place for sensation, experimentation, and Casablanca would be the place for the application. Here you can see Melehi installing the outdoor exhibition that was a, a manifesto uh, statement by this group of artists coming together in order to contradict the current trend of colonial exhibition and colonial heritage, um, where Moroccan artists were mainly driven to produce uh, very local or folkloric or so-called naive painting. And the resort to abstraction and geometric experiments uh, onto the, the urban space and to play with uh, the workers' space where the workshops are installed or where the pulse of the city comes from. And then the same manifesto a project of uh, outdoor exhibition is um, and still entitled Présence Plastique and would occur first in Marrakech and then secondly in Casablanca two weeks after uh, summer 1969 in the much more modernized and much more industrialized uh, mass housing architecture and landscape of Casablanca for the paintings to then literally come around uh, 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 the 6th November square in Casablanca city. The same plastic presence experiment is therefore taken through uh, even more diverse and interactive spaces such as uh, high schools and girls high schools. So these buildings in Casablanca sometimes show you the decorated um, door or decorated ornaments all around the workshop entrance that to, to Melehi's uh, photograph objective should have been remindful of his own relationship to color, obviously, and, and therefore, quite surprisingly, not only getting inspired from uh, popular mosques and so-called traditional painting, but also literally uh, within the city and the urban landscape, how different kind of um, merchant and workmen actually had this notion of decoration and integrated paintings or murals. Looking at photos of jewels and tapestry from from this time, uh, Melehi documented for the journal Maghreb Art alongside with Bert Flint's research and also Tony Maraini's uh, essays about this, this tradition of, of local craft. Um, the jewels would become one of the main pattern to be, to be transplanted into various platforms and geometric experiment. Uh, and relation to space, basically, where the jewel and the ornament is no more only ornamental or no more only a jewel, but a specific relation to forms, symbols, uh, to the possibility of uh, drawing alternative spaces and alternative points of connections throughout the very uh, abstracted and uh, kind of esoteric uh, geometry behind it. Uh, certainly one of the, the biggest influence um, of, a, of, a, of a modernized look into something already integrated in the culture even before the debate on, on modernity, a better look at all the, the ceiling paintings, um, again discovered by Melehi and, and Bert Flint, who would travel at different occasions um, with their students of the Casablanca Art School, um, and also alongside Tony Maraini, in order uh, to document these outstanding 
colorful compositions on the ceilings of uh, the popular mosques and zawiyas in the Sus and the High Atlas uh, geography and mountains. These artists live in a complete natural atmosphere without any contact with the modern or official civilization in the big in the urban areas and this is the big merit of these works and uh, certain wisdom and the the convergence between this expression and what we might find in modern art today so we meet here again the mystical uh, feeling and sometimes you would read a small sentence devoted to the worship of God.